Picture this scene. On a clear morning in Boca Chica, Texas, 33 Raptor engines roar to life, pushing against Earth's mighty grip. For a brief moment, Starship Flight 7 conquers gravity itself, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. But within minutes, the Caribbean skies would witness both triumph and tragedy. Breaking through Earth's gravitational pull is perhaps humanity's greatest engineering challenge. At the heart of this battle lies the rocket engine, a marvel of modern technology that often accounts for over 70% of a rocket's total cost. These aren't just ordinary machines. They are the culmination of decades of innovation, pushing the very limits of materials, science, and engineering. When it comes to Starship's latest flight, those engines played a pivotal role in a story that would unfold dramatically over the Gulf of Mexico. From the record-breaking thrust at liftoff, to the intense moments of hot staging, and finally to the unexpected turn of events that followed, every second reveals crucial lessons about the future of spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we break down the complex world of space exploration into stories that matter. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of Starship's recent flight examining what the Raptor engines achieved, what went wrong, and what it means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. At precisely 8 a.m. local time, the ground at Starbase trembled. As the morning sun cast long shadows across the launch pad, hundreds of SpaceX employees held their breath. Years of their lives, countless sleepless nights, and dreams of reaching Mars had led to this moment. The world watched as 33 Raptor engines ignited simultaneously, their combined force creating a deafening roar that echoed across the Texas coastline. Flight 7 had begun, and with it, humanity's latest attempt to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The initial moments were nothing short of breathtaking. As Booster 14 lifted off the pad, the raw power was palpable, generating more thrust than any rocket in history. The sight brought tears to the eyes of veteran engineers who had spent decades perfecting every component. Each Raptor engine represented thousands of hours of innovation, failure, and ultimate triumph. The ground tracking cameras captured the magnificent spectacle as the massive rocket cleared the tower, its engines working in perfect harmony to break free from Earth's gravitational embrace. In mission control, tension mounted as the flight entered its most critical phase, for three minutes, controllers called out milestone after milestone, each voice steady despite the weight of responsibility. The massive rocket climbed steadily through the morning sky, leaving a trail of exhaust that painted the horizon in brilliant whites and oranges. Every second of powered flight generated invaluable data, data that could one day help humanity establish its first permanent presence on Mars. Then came the moment everyone had been waiting for. At T plus three minutes and 45 seconds, Starship attempted something never before seen in spaceflight, a hot staging separation at hypersonic speeds. The upper stage's engines had to ignite while still attached to the booster, a maneuver so complex that many experts had deemed it impossible. As the engines roared to life, cheers erupted in mission control. For a brief shining moment, it seemed SpaceX had achieved the impossible. But space exploration has always been unforgiving, teaching its lessons through triumph and tragedy alike. By T plus four minutes, the first warning signs appeared on controller screens. A fuel leak had been detected above Starship's methane tank, an anomaly that would quickly escalate into a crisis. Engineers who had celebrated moments before now worked frantically to understand what was happening as telemetry showed increasing pressure in the flap hinge area. The next 40 seconds unfolded like a slow-motion nightmare. The leak grew worse and a fire erupted, feeding hungrily on the escaping methane. The flames spread rapidly, threatening the very structural integrity of the spacecraft. In mission control, faces that had beamed with pride moments before now showed grim determination. At T plus four minutes and 10 seconds, they made the hardest decision any space program faces, activating the flight termination system. The Caribbean skies lit up as Starship disintegrated, its debris creating a tragic light show against the morning sky. Yet even in failure, the Raptor engines had written a new chapter in aerospace history. During their brief but powerful performance, they had demonstrated capabilities that would have seemed like science fiction just a decade ago. Each Raptor 2 engine generated up to 230 tons of thrust at sea level, 
using a full flow stage combustion cycle, the most efficient rocket engine design ever created. To put this in perspective, a single Raptor 2 engine produces more thrust than the entire Apollo lunar module that landed humans on the moon. The journey to creating these remarkable engines reads like an engineering thriller. Years earlier, when SpaceX first announced their plans for the Raptor engine, industry veterans had scoffed. The full-flow stage combustion cycle had never been successfully implemented in a production rocket engine. The Soviets had tried and failed. The Americans had deemed it too complex. But SpaceX's engineers, led by their unwavering vision of Mars colonization, had achieved what many thought impossible. Before Flight 7, they had implemented crucial upgrades that pushed the boundaries of material science. The 25% increase in propellant capacity required developing new alloys that could withstand unprecedented pressures and temperatures. The vacuum jacketing added to the feed lines represented a breakthrough in cryogenic fuel management. Even the redesigned fuel delivery system incorporated lessons learned from thousands of hours of testing in previous flights. Testing in previous flights. The sophistication of these engines becomes even more apparent when examining their control systems. New avionics allowed for real-time monitoring of over 1,000 different parameters, each critical for optimal performance. The engine control software, running on radiation-hardened computers, could make hundreds of adjustments per second, maintaining the precise balance needed for stable combustion. Yet space remains an unforgiving teacher. During the hot staging phase, these engines faced conditions that pushed them to their absolute limits. Temperatures in the combustion chamber reached over 3,500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to vaporize most metals. The pressures inside the turbo pumps exceeded 800 bar, more than what exists at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Under such extreme conditions, even a microscopic flaw can cascade into catastrophic failure. Looking toward the future, SpaceX's response to this setback reveals their unwavering determination. The next generation Raptor 3 engine isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of what's possible in rocket propulsion. With projected thrust reaching up to 280 tons, potentially climbing to 330 tons in future iterations, these engines will be the most powerful ever created relative to their size. The design emphasizes simplicity and reliability featuring an integrated cooling system that eliminates the need for external heat shields, a breakthrough that could revolutionize reusable rocket technology. But perhaps the most tantalizing development lies in the mysterious Raptor 4 program. While details remain closely guarded, insider reports suggest this engine could incorporate revolutionary new materials developed in collaboration with leading research institutions. The goal isn't just incremental improvement, it's a fundamental leap forward in propulsion technology that could finally make regular Mars missions economically viable. Despite the setback of Flight 7, SpaceX's response has been characteristically bold. As they prepare for their next launch in February 2025, engineers are implementing crucial changes based on lessons learned. New fire suppression systems, enhanced by advanced sensors and AI-driven response algorithms, will provide additional layers of safety. Increased vent areas, redesigned based on computational fluid dynamics simulations, should prevent the kind of pressure buildup that led to the previous failure. The story of Starship and its Raptor engines transcends mere technical achievement. It represents humanity's unyielding spirit in the face of impossible challenges. Each test flight, whether ending in success or failure, adds another page to our species' greatest adventure, the journey to become multiplanetary. The engineers and technicians who work tirelessly on these engines aren't just building machines. They're crafting the keys that will unlock the solar system for future generations. This pioneering spirit isn't limited to SpaceX. On January 16th, 2025, Blue Origin stunned the space community with the successful launch of their new Glenn rocket. The sight of this 98-meter giant rising from Cape Canaveral marked a new chapter in commercial space competition. Using seven BE-4 engines, themselves marvels of modern engineering, New Glenn successfully deployed the Blue Ring Pathfinder prototype satellite into medium Earth orbit. However, space exploration continues to humble even the most prepared teams. Despite the mission's overall success, Blue Origin faced their own challenge 
when their first stage booster, designed to land on an ocean platform, encountered difficulties during descent. The loss of telemetry during this critical phase, followed by the unsuccessful recovery of the booster, served as a sobering reminder that the path to routine spaceflight remains challenging. As we look ahead, both SpaceX and Blue Origin's recent flights mark pivotal moments in humanity's space journey. While Starship Flight 7 faced challenges, each test brings us closer to revolutionizing space travel. The next Starship launch, scheduled for February 2025, will incorporate crucial lessons learned, demonstrating the relentless spirit of innovation that defines modern spaceflight. The story of rocket engines, from the Raptor's groundbreaking design to Blue Origin's BE-4, reminds us that the greatest achievements often come through learning from our setbacks. As Elon Musk often says, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. If you're as passionate about space exploration as we are, join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Share your thoughts about today's video in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on these recent launches and what they mean for the future of space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours bringing you the most comprehensive coverage of humanity's journey to the stars. Until next time, keep looking up. The next breakthrough could happen any moment. Breaking news from SpaceX, debris fields and FAA action. The clock struck T plus eight minutes on Starship's Flight 7. Everything seemed perfect. The liftoff, the separation, the initial burn. Then in a matter of seconds, the situation changed dramatically. A flash of light, a trail of fire, and soon fragments of one of humanity's most advanced spacecraft were scattered across the Caribbean. Today, we're bringing you the full story of what really happened during those crucial moments, and more importantly, what it means for SpaceX's future launches. We'll walk you through the official investigation revealing why multiple Raptor engines failed in rapid succession and how debris ended up washing ashore on islands hundreds of miles from the launch site. But this isn't just about what went wrong, it's about what happens next. With the FAA stepping in and new regulations on the horizon, the path forward for Starship has taken an unexpected turn. From the engineering challenges to the regulatory hurdles, we're covering every angle of this developing story. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX. Let's dive right in. The morning of the launch dawned clear and bright at Starbase, Texas. Engineers and technicians had spent countless hours preparing Booster 14 and its precious cargo, the Starship upper stage, for what they hoped would be a breakthrough moment in spaceflight history. The atmosphere was electric with anticipation. This wasn't just another test flight, but a crucial step toward making humanity a multi-planetary species. As the countdown reached zero, the massive rocket roared to life. The ground trembled as 33 Raptor engines ignited simultaneously, creating a spectacular display of raw power that lit up the Texas sky. For the thousands watching live and millions more streaming online, this was more than just a launch. It was a glimpse into humanity's future among the stars. The initial phase of Flight 7 proceeded flawlessly. The super heavy booster performed exactly as designed, pushing through the dense lower atmosphere with unprecedented precision. When the moment of separation arrived, hearts raced in mission control. The choreography of rocket and spacecraft dancing apart in the thin upper atmosphere went exactly according to plan, a testament to the countless hours of refinement since previous attempts. But space exploration has always been an unforgiving pursuit, where success and failure balance on a knife's edge. At T plus seven minutes and 39 seconds, the first signs of trouble emerged. One of the sea-level Raptor engines began showing anomalous readings. Inside mission control, engineers watched their displays intently, hoping this wouldn't cascade into something more serious. Their hopes were short-lived. At T plus seven minutes and 52 seconds, cameras caught a concerning sight, flames erupting from the starboard aft flap hinge. This wasn't a normal occurrence. 
and preliminary data suggested what Elon Musk had warned about earlier. An oxygen leak had developed in a critical system. The timing couldn't have been worse, as Starship was entering one of the most demanding phases of its flight profile. What happened next unfolded with devastating speed. Within a span of just 21 seconds, a cascade of engine failures ripped through the spacecraft's propulsion system. First, another sea-level Raptor engine went dark. Then, like dominoes falling, a nearby vacuum-optimized engine shut down, followed by another and another. Each failure shifted more stress onto the remaining engines, creating an impossible situation for the flight control system to manage. By T plus 8 minutes and 23 seconds, the unthinkable had happened. Starship had lost all propulsion. The world's most 